Hello everyone, we're back. You might be seeing this on a Saturday because instead of the usual Thursday upload of the Wednesday episode making sense, I wanted to take a little break from watching the uh, stupidity of these people and just focus on not trying to rot my brain. And speaking of breaks, Kit Kat, sponsor me! Or Ross and Rachel, if somehow that's possible. I don't get how. But please, what I do get is 20 million in the rubies. But not this woman, she doesn't get. I. This woman wants to know the truth about her internet boy. What's her name? Laval. He's a good looking man, businessman, travels the world. After losing her husband of 29 years, Lavelle turned to online dating to find romance. And then I met this guy, and he just seemed so different than everybody else. Garrett was the man Fake. of her dreams. Handsome, business savvy, and supportive. And he was about to become filthy rich. Damn. And we just went out there to check out the investment and written this into. Nice. Not only uh, are you getting gold, but it looks like you're getting gold biscuits. Not gold bars, because these ain't bars. They look like the old Nokia 333. Th 333, that's three... The Nokia 33... Am I saying it right, bro? The 3310s, I'm saying it right. Yeah, you've got that gold plated. That is probably worth more than 20 million. I'll tell you that much. A Nokia 3310 gold plated. I'm not on drugs, everyone. You could say Lavelle is. <laughs> Center. Is Garrett Lavelle's oh, Mr. Accent? Right or just another romance scammer? Real quick, guys. Real quick, let me say this real quick. Or is he just another scammer? Whoa! The, the absolute bombshell of information that's going to be dropped on us. Is it a scammer? On the catfish channel? I don't know. Can it be real? Don't forget to like, do comment, that. and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into but it. But you already are. My name is Lavelle. Okay. I live in Las Vegas. Oh. I am retired. I've been retired about seven years. I live in a retirement community. Okay. Uh, one of the things I like to do is stained glass. Nice. I like that. Worked in the healthcare industry mainly i've worked in offices been married several times okay none of my marriages were happy unfortunately my last husband died about eight years ago and we were married 29 years after he died i moved back here because my family's all on the west coast and i have three sons two are twins i have my sons lives with me right now well originally i didn't ever think i'd want anybody in my life because i was very unhappily married and i thought i'm free you know i want to do what i want to do i don't want to be have a man in my life well, why is she twitching but after so about much? three or four years i thought you know what it would be kind of nice to have somebody in my life and so anyone uh, clued up on why plenty of fish is still in business just a joke because i see some comments who for some reason get genuinely upset that <laughs> That I have, I don't even have an issue with online dating. I just wish people would get clued up on it before, you know, obviously being vulnerable online, essentially, right? You're going to trust someone, be vulnerable with them, get clued up that scams exist. But some people think I hate online. No, all right? There was one comment in particular, goodness, just calm down, everyone, right? I don't know if you've got a sponsorship from online dating, every single one of them. But calm down, please. But anyway, what was the point that I was going to make? I actually don't know. I think maybe something about her marriage is the fact that she described them as being unhappy and that, you know, she felt free. I'd love to know more. But of course, uh, I mean, we never know. Well, on this show, do we just never get context? But hopefully, she's doing well now, other than being scammed. You know, I did go online. Clean it fish again. Did went out on a lot of dates, but none of them were more than one date. Oh, okay. We didn't like each other for whatever reason. I mean, usually me I didn't like them. Um, okay, ran into lots and lots of scammers. Any online reason why? And then I met this guy. 
two years ago, and he just seems so different than everybody else. Well, he's, he's supposedly about five seven. If he's five seven, uh, then I'm six foot nine. All right. If he's five foot seven, it's interesting that you mentioned there was a lot of scammers, but somehow, uh, what's his name? Garrett Jarrett is is supposedly going to be different here. I wonder why. Oh, the promise of gold bars, realistically, isn't it? Maybe the other scammers didn't offer you gold bars. But Garrett here did. He looks really fake in, in this picture here. The actual person, right? If I move, you probably could already have seen it, but I've moved anyway, right? What are you? An idiot sandwich. His waist... <sighs> Look, I'm not criticising him because he's slimmer and more fit than me. <laughs> Never would I do such a thing. I'm not jealous. But it just looks weird. It looks fake. He has gray hair, really short, short, short gray hair. He wears okay. glasses. He looks like a businessman. He travels the world, does projects. Okay. He travels the world clearly by teleporting because he is not there. All right. Incredible. Incredible uh, camera work he's got going on here. The hair is like, you know, it's protruding out and it's entering whatever this building is. Is it a pyramid? I'm not sure. Someone will let me know. But good on you, Jarrett or Garrett. Still don't know how to pronounce his name, but okay. He's a good looking man. He wears a wedding ring, but he told me he wears it because, you know, women pursue him. He didn't want that. <laughs> he's definitely a gentleman. If I don't feel good, he's always concerned about my health. He's... You're not a child, right? Just because someone checks in on you, it doesn't mean you must off pant and do things with them. <laughs> he wears a reading, a, a reading ring. What's that? I don't know. It's if you live in Reading in, in the UK, you wear a ring to show you're from Reading. Shit joke. We move on. He wears a Oh, I almost did it again. He wears a wedding ring, but there's no red flag. Where's the flag? Where's the flag, bro? Where is the flag? Where is the flag? Where is the flag? Where is the flag? The flag. Where's your brain, Lavelle? Everyone, if you talk to someone, on a basis that you're trying to build something up romantically. And they seem to be wearing a wedding ring in, in pictures. Please run away. All right. And what an excuse, by the way. Uh, women pursue me, so I wear it. <laughs> you can't just say to the women, no, sorry, I'm not interested in, in pursuing anything with you. You have to wear a, a wedding ring. Nice. Nice. Different in so many ways. I can't explain it. He explain supposedly it. lived here in Vegas, downtown by the Strip. He's originally from Germany. Uh, stop right there. How much do you want to bet? Or I'm not a betting man, right? But we're going we're gonna to throw up a wager here. How much does everyone want to bet that the men who she's real life dated... Why were they not good enough? I'd love to know more context as well. But I'm going to assume and I could make an ass out of me and you. Or you and me. But because he's fit. He's a fit man. Potentially younger. I don't know. That's the reason. <laughs> I'm German, so that was interesting. He's really good at texting. He likes to text. He's pretty verbal. But on the phone, he doesn't say a lot. Most of the time he just says, listens to me. And he does listen. He's a good listener. He has an accent. I don't think it's a German accent, though, but I can't really place what it is exactly. He doesn't talk on the phone because he can't keep the accent longer than probably 30 seconds, right? The accent in quotation marks because it sounds like the scammer's vocal cords are being twisted into a pretzel and sold to you at a very expensive coffee shop that somehow is only inhabited by what we would call as the youngers hipsters, right? And they charge you 
$9.99 for a coffee, yeah, and $15 for a hot chocolate. What in the world is going on in your coffee shop, huh? Sorry. But if you are the owner of said coffee shop, d- come on. Get a grip of yourself, all right? I'm trying to have a croissant and a hot chocolate, and I've had to remortgage my home, and I don't even own a home anyway. I'm more angry at that than the fact that you've had 20 million uh, offered offered to you. Someone bibbed out there as well. How dare you? They are also angry at the coffee shops that are stealing, essentially. They're the scammers. I should open my own channel, right? Catfish, but call it uh, coffee fished or something. You know. (laughs) (laughs) This is great banter. It really is. We talked on the phone quite a bit. Well, you don't. rule at that point was, you know, you have to meet me, you have to video chat with me, you know. And you agreed to that. And so we decided to meet, and we were going to meet at this particular restaurant at a certain time. I was in the car waiting. I I arrived at the restaurant before he did, and so I was waiting for him to come, and I got him on the phone. And he said, I'm leaving now. I'm really sorry. I'm running late, but I'm leaving now. And so while he was talking to me, he was telling, he was like on this GPS and he says, I'm turning on this street and I'm turning left on that street. And so we kept talking and he kept telling me he was on his way. It wasn't really that far from the street. Why would he go into an accident? He was quiet. And he's like, what happened? And when he came back, he's, oh my God. He said, I was just rear-ended by somebody and they were pushing me in the car in front of me. And, and anyways, I'll have to talk to you later. So I ended up going home. <laughs> later on, he did contact me and he said um, he was home. His car was totaled. He actually sent me a picture of his car later. Okay, so I thought he was rear-ended. Now, it's not a euthymism, all right? It's not an innuendo. <laughs> but if if you get rear-ended in the middle of the road, you probably need serious help. But isn't rear-ending supposed to occur in the rear, or am I just severely misunderstanding what that means? Is, is someone backing into you called rear-ending? Or is someone hitting you in the back? Rear end. I don't know, but goodness, that that was quite a hefty, hefty rear ending. There sounds like a wrestling move. By the way, tangent. I've probably put up a poll about this, but if I haven't, then I'll pose the question now, anyways, regardless if I have or not. Would anyone watch a wrestling channel from me? Uh, I do have one, uh, but it's dormant. Like a volcano just there. So if, if people are interested, I know I know a few people in the comments do appreciate the wrestling references. So if you want to see me create wrestling content again, I'd gladly do it. But anyway, that's quite a hefty accident. Surely you would have heard on the phone that this happened. Unless he very, very instinctively put the phone on mute as he got absolutely... Woo! Chopped across the bonnet. But you'd you'd hear it, no? I just, it's a nice car though. Nice color. While Garrett was recovering oh, from Garrett. a car accident, his fortunes began to look up. He had acquired a lucrative lumber contract with the Hawaiian government oh, he's in a the island of Kauai. He supposedly got a contract to go to Hawaii. Um, his job no, was to like cut Hawaii. down those wood trees up in the forest. You see, this is, I've said before, it's a bit weird sometimes, these catfish episodes, in the fact that they mirror my life, not in the sense that I've been scammed by a lumberjack, but if you've watched my recent Q&A, it'll be up there somewhere, I do mention that one state in particular in the US I'd love to visit is, is Hawaii, and now we've got a Hawaiian worker Get a grip of yourselves, right? Anyone. <laughs> Do you know, actually, I don't even know who I'm saying get a grip to there. But just you or everyone. Everyone just get a grip. They're, that's very, they're very expensive trees worth a lot of money. And he had a contract they're expensive with the trees. government. He said he was in the Kauai Highlands. 65 people. He was that sounds tents really tropical. You know, places for them to go to the bathroom. You have to feed them. And he rented buses to take them back and forth every day from the work to the woods. He asked me to send him some laptops. 
he didn't take one with him and his one he had was old and he was supposedly a three hour drive from his motel to the woods. What? He needed to um, communicate with the people in the woods. So what? I sent him to Laptox. Lavelle had shown her support for Garrett by sending him two brand new laptops and the two were about to receive some life changing news. I'm gonna stop you there. I mean, the first, the first port of call here is you as apparently a successful businessman, you don't think before you go to another country and do a job, essentially, you don't think you need to take your laptop? Okay, sure, you've forgotten it. Oh, honey, I've, I forgot my keys at home, so that's sad. Oh, actually, no, I forgot my laptop in the job to showcase the the difference in what bro what are you talking about man also why two i don't understand why not one why does he need two laptops because it's it's not a case of oh, i need a work laptop and a and a personal laptop because he's commute wait wasn't he commuting to and from the woods and home. So he could have gone and got his, the woods, by the way. Actually, no, he didn't have, he didn't bring his laptop, so he couldn't just go home. Uh, sorry, right? <laughs> How foolish of me to do that. Make a mistake like that, hey? Eh? I've made the grave mistake in this, itch, in this situation. And speaking English is also apparently a mistake of mine every single day. But why two laptops? Surely you could do everything on one laptop. Do you want to send me a laptop, Lavelle? Please? <laughs> Please. When Garrett found out he was the heir to a fortune worth billions. What? One day texted me and said his auntie said that his father had left him some gold. And she had turned it over to this attorney to handle it for him. And wanted to know if I would be kind enough to help him handle it while he was... What is this Indiana Jones very music going on? Bad um, internet connection. Lavelle had been given executorship of Garrett's inheritance and quickly began to put the details I in place. Sure. She wanted to lay her own eyes on the gold, so she requested a video from the estate's lawyer. Yeah, this is um, today's first of March, and we just went out there to check out the investment and written its index. So, Lavelle and Gary Kaufman, this is your investment. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Great video there, Mr. Lawyer. I posed the question to everyone, what is actually these things? What are they? Because, you know, you could say legitimately the scammer has gold bars ready to send to you. They might not be real, but they're there. You know what I mean? Just as the victims like to say that the love is there, but it's not, but, you know, in it's up here. So it is there. Does that make sense? What is this? Why is it in such a weird case? Well, I mean, you'd think such such high amounts of gold, twenty million dollars, would be put in a in a vault or something. But no, it looks like someone's pack lunch box. Great. Lavelle was now caught up in a whirlwind. And once the lawyers got involved was when the real work began. The real work in this inch in this situation is the fact that I've moved on without putting the, the chocolate bars of gold bars, right? Somewhere on the screen, you'll see it. And, and then mentioning packed lunches, it's incredible. I'm funny, right? <laughs> uh. Please subscribe, like and subscribe, please. Please, just just do it, all right? It's free. <laughs> it helps the channel, please. Or not. I mean, people are going to do what they're going to do. <laughs> but just do it. And all of a sudden, I'm dealing with attorneys. These attorneys that live in England. I always talk to his secretary named Karen Marlene. All of a sudden, I realized that, you know, there was they're sending me these bills, paperwork that looked official, you know, that everything was put in my name now. I had this big fancy code I had to three. use. There was a bill for the attorney, like $50,000, $60,000. There was an invoice for 
the, the company that had been holding it supposedly for like 13 years in storage. What? And that was like under 100,000. But then the next, then the next big bill was $300,000 from the shipping company uh, okay. because you know gold's heavy. <laughs> well, um, maybe maybe this gold is heavy, right? We've got. Mr. Butler here with the white gloves on looks like he's about to perform the worst colonoscopy ever. Maybe this is heavy. But what he shown or showed <laughs> that does not look heavy. All right, they're in a packed lunch box. They look like biscuits spray painted gold. Get a grip of yourself, Lavelle. Get a grip of yourself. Pop if you didn't hear that, it was the laptop. It doesn't want to continue anymore, but we digress. So when I paid, we. tried to pay those bills. And, and as far as I know, you know, at least this is the way it was set up. I, he had nothing to do with this part of it. He, you know, he would just ask me questions. How's you are it going? a fool. In fact, I got, tried to get him to talk to him a couple of times and he, he refused to. Why? When it came to the $300,000 bill, I couldn't pay it. I mean, I, I just couldn't. I used all my money by then. So I said, hey, if you got all the gold there, why don't you just sell some of the gold? Oh, good question. You know, I mean, after all, it's worth a lot of money. Yes, well Finally, done. Finally, to do it. I had to sign some more paperwork to a release, I think, five or six gold bars. So you didn't and stop. You lied. And he was going to find a buyer. And supposedly he found a buyer in Canada. I had to pay for, you know, the paperwork to be sent in. I had to pay another $5,000 to have the gold sent to Canada. And he finally came back and said, well, what happened was when we sent the gold to the buyer, then he melted it down okay. uh, because he wanted to know what, what the quality of it was. And when he did, he found this 20 karat raw ruby that happened to be in there. How does that happen? And the ruby is supposedly worth $20 million who said that? and the gold was worth $10 million. Who, who, so he set up with this bank and he, who said? he showed me the paperwork and it was $34 million. And then I could just transfer it out to my local account as I wanted it. And he was all excited, and I said, what are you doing? He's like, packing my stuff up. I'm packing everything up. I'm going to be there. We were all excited. We finally, it's been about a year. We finally got this far. We finally get the goal. I made sure that the money was in the account. So I tried to then transfer some of the money. I think a couple hundred thousand it was 300,000. wasn't very much. But it wouldn't go through. All right. She looks like she's about to start crying. I mean, I would, right? I'm about to come into $34 million. I'd be ecstatic, right? I'd be all, I'd be jumping onto the moon, right? The crypto donnies to the moon. I'd be there. I need everyone to understand, or you know, just please, for the love of everything that's holy in this world, where is the common sense? Huh? Like this man has has barely known you, and, and he's put you in charge uh, of his father's well, you know, passing down of gold. Why? Oh, gee, oh, why? Why? Right? None of this makes sense. It never makes sense. None of these stories make sense. We always... can. Where's, where's all the people that just normally get scammed? Huh? Like, can we, can we see some more... I don't know how to call it, but down-to-earth stories where people who, you know, deserve to be helped actually get some help... Maybe poor choice of words. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve to be helped. You know, sure, help her. But, I mean, where's the life experience, right? I'm not saying you need to have been scammed every single day of your life to realise that this is ridiculous. But is there no life experience? Is there no common sense left in this world? Apparently not. So when I got a hold of the guy at the bank, Who's I was this? Like, oh, I don't, let me check on, let me check on, see what's going on. So finally he came back and says, well, what it is, it's the, it's the IRS. They you know, put a hold on your account until you pay the taxes on it. So then I get this bill for like $300,000 for it's $300,000. So it's almost $300,000 for taxes. I said, why can't I just pay the taxes out of the account? I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. Why, they know it's there. Why can't they? No, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. Good question. Finally, they said, possibly if you pay this $38,100 um, by this deadline, that they'll at least... I'm going to stop you there because once again, life experience comes into this. Have you never contacted the IRS? Right. I'm assuming it is the tax people. Right. It's not an assuming. I, I know. Right. It's it, probably assuming it's similar to HMRC. Like, have you ever 
you, look, have you never contacted hey, the IRS? You've never been in contact with them by any means. You think it's normal that they're going to just send send you what was that a letter and communicate with you like that? Oh, come on, come on, get a grip. Unlock the account so that you can pay them. You know, otherwise, I'd have to pay them before it was unlocked. I said, "There's no way I can pay my home three hundred thousand dollars." I ended up paying them thirty-eight thousand one hundred dollars. And then this was right around the end of December. You know, it was Christmas, the New Year's. You know, trying to get money out of my account, trying to get it to me, trying to get it to the bank, trying to get it to them. Too much money. Of course, you people I missed the money. deadline. So they got the money, but you know, I couldn't still unlock the account. Total, total. I mean, when it's all said and done, I'm saying one hundred fifty thousand. All my accounts were, you know, way over the limit. All my accounts were closed. I tried to make the payments, and I tried to keep it up. I couldn't. And that's when I found out that the bank name they were using was very similar to a bank that w- that was legitimate, just a little bit off. <laughs> and so the bank didn't really even exist. So at that point, I contacted the attorney's office again because I, at this point, I hadn't had a contact with them for quite a while. Oh, so you think after finding out that the bank you've been sending this money to? Or whatever the hell's going on here, I don't even know anymore. You you think after finding out it's not real, that that the attorney is real, uh, the the attorney who I uh, I think sent you to this bank. And I said, you know, you've been working with me almost a year. I'm not asking you to do anything about it. I just want you to know that you know I never got the gold. So what was he gonna say? <laughs> it goes on and on. I finally told Garrett, this is ridiculous. Oh, now it's told ridiculous. Him, he got really upset with me. And he said, I can't, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you? I said, I did tell you. I'm just telling you now. But you didn't tell me before. You know, you're my wife and you no. should be telling me these things. There should be any secrets between us. I go, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know? I mean, some of the stories sound, you know, believable, but other ones are just unbelievable. What? I'd love to know, right? I don't think she's going to clarify, but I'd love to know what about any of this is believable. Uh, I'd love to know. Lavelle, I'd love to know. I, I'd i love L to know. I didn't hear from him for about a week or so. He died or something. I come to find out, he, uh, said he, was in a, he said he was in a hospital. Oh, again. He told okay. me that he's, you know, doesn't feel good and okay. doesn't have any money. He's starving. Oh, he is dying. So well, you told me you're starving a month ago. And so you should have been dead by now. I said, I'm not saying anything. He says, do you think I'm a scammer? I go, I do. Why wouldn't I? I've given you every opportunity to t- prove to me who you are by photo, by this, by that, by, you know, and you you just won't. That's just. Uh, that's just ridiculous of you that after 150K, you're a scammer. Nice one, Lavelle. Really nice one. But she has a point there. He should be dead, technically. He's been starving for a month. Fair play. That's resilience, Garrett. Kudos to you. Not right, you know. He said, said, I am who I am. I meant everything I said to you. As far as he's concerned, we both got got scammed. That's, you know. So I cut cut him off. You think I would know better because there were some red signs all along. But, you know, he was just so different. No. And I just felt, to me, that I finally met my true love, you know. That finally... I mean, I'd, you know, I'd be happy. What are you on about? For the rest of my life. All right, Seekers, you know we had to get to the bottom of this. We had photos of Garrett, the inheritance paperwork, the shipping invoices, and records from Garrett's phone bill, which Lavelle was paying for. Stick around until the end. We'll find out if Garrett was actually about to be filthy rich or just another filthy liar. Oh my god, great music. It's faded to black, but it doesn't mean that we've stopped there. Didn't he did he finish the Hawaii job? What happened there? He didn't get paid? He didn't get paid for the Hawaii job. He did it for free in the woods. I mean, yeah, I mean that's where a lumberjack would work. Do you get it? Wood work. But didn't he finish? Did he finish it? He must have money. Where's his money from before? Because his bank account didn't get frozen. That's not what happened in this story. <laughs> Why is he starving? Great. Nice filling in the blanks, guys. 
I really understand everything that's going on. Unless I've missed it, then shame on, shame on me. Real quick, guys. If you found yourself in a similar situation to Lavelle and you want to know the truth about the person that you've been communicating with online, reach out to our email, share my story at socialcatfish.com. We can find these answers that you're looking for. Someone, so, look, someone tell me if that music is necessary there, right? I'm, again, I'm not saying don't put music, but is there need for the music to be so action packed? Hi, Laval. How are you? Have Hi. they shrunk? Hey, what's going on? So, Laval, what's the reason that you reached out to us? Um, to find out the person I've been communicating with for over two years. And that's is really who he says he is. I sort of had um, doubts recently. What brought it to a head was I bought him a phone and I put him on my account. It just showed calls to random people that I called and couldn't get anything from them. Second month, they were all calls to me. And the third month, it had a mixture of calls in it, mostly to me, but there was a one from Ms. Mississippi that I called, and it was a gal that found out he'd been talking to her about the same time he'd been talking to me. He just oh, will not been, change his mind, and it's not him. Something else is going on. Those pictures are him. Everything he's told me is true. And he knows that I'm doing this, too, by the way. So he knows that you're here talking with us. Yes. He tells me I'm ruining the, our relationship. <laughs> Oh, no, he told, me, he told me I'm embarrassing him. Uh -huh. Why would I be embarrassing you? Stop you know, trying you're me telling this. me the truth. It should be good. But I said, you have forced me to do this because you won't do anything I've asked you to do to prove who you are. With having all of these doubts about Garrett, what exactly is kind of tying you to him or driving you back to him every time? Is it the fact that you love him and you want to meet him? I thought I was in love with him. I mean, I was falling in love with him. I mean, he's a wonderful, charming man. He very different than anybody I've ever talked to, you know. You know, I'm going to say, I'm going to wave the red flag uh, for the fact that you've said he's different about 7,000 times and you've not clarified what it is about him that's different. It's like when someone asks you, hey, what do you like about me? Uh, and then you say, oh, you're just different as a cop-out answer, right? What is different? I don't understand. He's... I'm gonna again assume that he's fitter than a lot of the men that you were probably in real life dating at the time. I've shaked the microphone. It's a party. Woo! Shake it off. Shake it off. Except you can't just shake off losing 150k. Get a grip of yourself and explain what is different. He's talked about marry me you know coming back here and buying a beautiful home traveling together with what money is poor him. apparently and it's hard to give that up so it doesn't have anything with the the large amount of gold you're gonna get oh no no i never expected to get it but it had to do with the fact that he told me he was going to pay me back when... whoa well you are you're an even bigger fool then huh not only did you send money to to somehow get this gold you didn't even think you were going to get it, but you still sent the money. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm going to do my best to paint myself in a good light here and not seem like a gold digger. So much so that I'm going to look like an even bigger idiot in the process. Nice! Got everything situated and, you know, it was a lot of money to their mouth, so that was... I'm in the, I guess I'm kind of in the back of my mind hoping that, you know, I would get that money back and he was telling me the truth. I mean, the, some of the things that I question is just the time thing, I think, is the main thing. It's what because time? if he's in Ghana, he doesn't seem to know how to spell Ghana when we talk about it. But it's just that he's supposedly in Hawaii and the what? time difference and, and how I, often I talk to him and the weather and everything just seems to, to line up with that. If he was in Ghana, it would be way, way off, you know. What the hell have you just said? Someone explain to me what she's waffling about here, right? I ramble. I know it. I'm proud of it. That ramble made zero sense. Probably less sense than I usually make. He can't Google things? What's wrong with another person who, who doesn't seem to think that the scammer doesn't have access to the internet? He can't Google the weather. Huh? Also, the timing thing. Bro, scammer, this is a job. To the scammers, 
right? If they have to be awake in your times, they will be awake in your times. Uh, once again, please, everyone, stay aware, stay alert, right? Have some common sense about you. If someone can Google something, right, they're going to Google it. You need to know that. We have a lot to show you and we have a lot to go over. The image that you just sent us, uh, you mentioned Gar this is Garrett's Mustang, his car. What? Give, give us a little backstory on to backstory why he for sent a lot you of this things. picture. We were supposed to meet at a local restaurant and I got there before he did and he didn't show up at the time he was supposed to. So I went back outside and got in my car and called him and he, I said, where are you? And he's, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm really sorry. I got, you know, delayed, but I'm on my way. And while he was talking to me, so he got really quiet. So I just went home. And when I asked him later what happened, he said, I just got in a car accident. Somebody rear-ended me. Wait. That's, that's a red flag. Well, I guess there's nothing you can do. If someone goes quiet, <laughs> you just go home. But once again, I repeat, you didn't hear the crash on the phone call. So that's weird. But yeah, it went quiet and you just said, Effie, I'm going home then. I guess that's what you would do realistically. But in a real life scenario, uh, I would say, I don't know. First of all, this real man, right? In, in the glasses, it looks like he's taking a picture whilst he's driving. That's very unsafe, whoever the real person is behind these images, by the way. I'm just saying, that's not good. But if you are going to meet someone, you know, is this a tangent? Maybe. But if you are meeting someone off online, which is oxymoron, but yeah, if you're going to meet someone, please uh, share your location with friends and family just to be safe in case there's some crazy Ted Bundy serial killer person, please uh, stay safe. And that picture was to prove that he was in the accident. It's, it's interesting, LaBelle, because we looked at the image and we noticed that there was a logo on the corner of the image. And so we looked into that logo. We found that it belonged to a car auction website. Okay. Interesting. So that definitely doesn't connect with the story that Garrett's giving giving right. on when he sent you this picture. How do you know? Maybe, maybe it, it, so quickly after the accident, he gave the car in to to the garage, and then they're fixing the car. And he said, "No, no, no, sell it." And they've already put it up online, fixed and everything. How do you know? Why would it have this logo in the bottom right hand corner? Good question. Because he's selling the car, duh. So Lavelle, <laughs> it seems like you've been through a lot with Garrett, especially in regard to these gold bars. Why do you have so much trust in someone you've never met though? I didn't know what I was getting into or would never have done it. And so I said, I don't understand why you're doing this. I mean, this is a lot of money. This is like, you know, why would you, you don't even know me. And he said, because I really, that's how much I trust you. I believe in you. So you had also received a contract for this goal, correct? But then what I no. understand with the paperwork was, it's just that it was put in my name. You know, <laughs> I did not even see this in the beginning. Date, Tuesday 15th slash 03 slash 2022. First of all, how old is this story? Unless, you know, we've my McFly gone back in the past so that's wrong but we've we've you know time traveled to do this but tuesday 15th 03 that's you know the debate of who who types out the the date right is it day month year or is it month day year the scammer here is blowing it all out of the water He's gone day, month, year, but also you get the actual day as well. Oh, incredible stuff. With the power, embark on all claims slash ownership of any kind regarding the 150 kilograms of treasure gold bars in the UK. Real sentences. You know, so legally it was mine. So this document. Oh, you didn't sign it. I've seen it. this document so many times. So, so many times. 
it's used all the time by romance scammers, <gasps> primarily Nigerian romance scammers. Whoa. Right. I did take it to a tax attorney, and he immediately told me it was a scam. So what's wrong with you? And I don't know why I didn't believe him. Waving the red flag there. If someone of authoritative standing tells you that something is not real, please believe them. I uh, can't believe I've had to say that so many times watching these. But when he was telling you that this is this is fake, what what was your response to him and what were you thinking? I don't know. I guess I didn't want to believe him. <laughs> He's sending all these Google um, images. You know that the contracts are fake. You've gone to third parties. It's I'm greed, sure your family man. has told you that it's fake. In your mind, you know it's fake. She wants What's the, the difference bars. between the information that we're delivering you and everyone else's information that they've been telling you? Oh, that's a good question, Drew. And I and look, they they sometimes watch the videos. I've mentioned numerous times. Why do the victims believe the catfish team, and not actual authoritative figures? I'd love to know the reasoning. Hopefully, Lavelle gives some sort of a response that makes sense. I doubt it, but let's see. Because you're gonna have real proof. <laughs> real, real, real. Well, I mean, I guess I had it all along, but. But why? Why us though? Because you're the, you're the experts. <laughs> I'm going to move the microphone just so you can just... Really? Really? That... That's the reasoning. Not the tax attorney. He's not... No, you're not an expert in, well, essentially documents regarding finances. You're not an expert. Shut up. I need the team to tell me that, that the, the man in this picture is fake. And then, then I'll believe. I didn't expect... Right, I didn't expect a coherent answer that makes me, wow, you know what, fair play. I didn't expect it, but I'm still disappointed. Uh, that's, that's my life summed up. I don't have expectations, but I'm still disappointed. I guess it's because you want it to be true. You know, I just want it to be true. Shut up. And personally, I wasn't really sending him. I mean, I did send him a laptop. I did send him a phone, but and I sent him money here and there, like a couple hundred dollars, but I really never gave him personally that much money. So Laval, you sent over... I don't think she's grasped the fact that all this money that she sent to banks, it's him. I, really bugs me that she doesn't understand that. She basically stroked their ego. You guys are the experts, not the financial uh, tax attorneys in real life. No, you guys love it. Two different passports, correct? Both his. They, they also. They both have Garrett's passport. You just. He just took this different picture on the one that you sent to. You are even more of a fool. It's getting worse and worse and worse. All right. What the hell is that picture on the right? Can you see that? Who is that? Right. It looks like if Colonel Sanders gave up his chicken business, gave it to his son, and told his son, you have to look like me in order to run this business. And the son has made a valiant attempt to look like the chicken king, all right? Second of all, look at his finger, right? I've, I've said previously, someone else's Photoshop looked like E.T. That looks like E.T., right? Phone, um, home, Hawaii, home, gold bars. E.T. was right, right, in getting on that bike and getting the hell out of this world because none of this makes sense. I wouldn't want to be here either, E.T., so fair play. Thank you. I'm going to take your, I'm going to follow in your footsteps.
Also, ridiculousness aside, why didn't the team, unless they cut it out, I, I, I hope the team said to her, you know, as nice as what you just said about us is, you need to listen to professionals in real life as well. I hope they did that and they didn't just move on from this. For the love of everything that's holy once again, everyone, can we actually listen to the people around us? Y you don't need someone to shove evidence in your face to tell you that you're being scammed. All right, get a grip of yourself. The girl. Well, why did he use two different pictures? Also, cause I just forgot to say this, right? Because I got so caught up in his stupid ET finger. That is incredible skill to hold a passport with one finger. He's, sw he's flipping you off. He is flipping you off, Lavelle. The scammer basically said, F you, you stupid idiot. Have this. Get a grip. Who holds a picture like that? Why do you have this picture? I, I'm a, I get it, right? He's trying to show you that he's real. But no one who shows or has to prove themselves that they're real is going to hold up their passport to essentially a stranger. I don't care how long you've been talking. Oh, let's catch our breath, man. Please, everyone, look after yourselves, all right? I'm not going to touch on the fact that she was unhappy in her marriages because we've touched on stuff like that so many times. But if you are unhappy, and look, hey, I'm going to touch on it anyway, so who, why did I say that? If you are unhappy, please do everything you can to not be in that any longer than you need to be. 29 years, right? That's, that is a very long time. Shock horror. That's older than me. My goodness. So, and I understand the circumstances why someone stays. But if you are genuinely unhappy, seek some professional support and work on trying to leave. Life is short, right? If you're unhappy in any situation, exit. Get out of there. Life is short. Live your life to the fullest. Not to the fullest where somehow you are promised a 20 million dollar ruby shout out ruby in the comments that's not garrett but oh well, why did he use two different pictures good question i don't know i asked him about too but he doesn't know what i'm talking about he doesn't even know libby i said well that's kind of hard to <laughs> deny what? since this came to what 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 just, just, just... i don't know what you're talking about with this other girl Since this came to rear phone. So there's a picture of him holding it with his finger. Did you see that picture? Yeah. What did you think of that picture? I thought it was real. We ran a reverse image search on that passport picture where he's holding it with one finger. Swollen finger. Um, we were finger. actually able to find the exact match for that image. In the original image, he is not holding a passport. So the passport has been photoshopped in between his fingers. You got him a cell phone, correct? And you sent this to him? Yes. Where, Where? did you send it to? Florida. It was the last time I sent it to him. Why? Thank you. We never would was let me send he there? Directly. Have you ever thought about calling your service provider and asking where the phone is? Because I have international calling. It showed that he was in Ghana. It's interesting because every time he wrote back about Ghana, he, he never spelled it right. All of those things are to confuse you. We we listened back to the the video, the recording of his mm -hmm. voice with the. But that was that was that wasn't him. Oh yeah, it was his lawyer apparently. So the phone calls you were making showed Ghana. Can you, should I feel sympathy? Huh? There there are so many stories. I don't feel sympathy because. The, the sheer ridiculousness exceeds my level of sympathy, right? I can feel sympathy sometimes. Don't get it twisted. I can. But when it's like this, that, you know, whoever is talking in that video has your money. Yeah. And we just Sad went times. out there to check out the investment and written this interview. Oh, maybe. Sounded like somebody from Ghana. No, I thought it sounded from, from maybe England. I don't. I don't know. I know. Every everything seemed like everybody I was sending. You know, 
the fact that they've zoomed into your face when you're legitimately saying, no, nah, that's an English accent. They are taking the piss out of you, Lavelle. Sorry to break it to you, but they're taking the absolute piss out of you. I could be wrong, right? But usually when I zoom into my own face, it's because I'm saying or doing something stupid and I want to emphasize that fact. So sorry to break it to you if you watch their episode. You're being made to look like a fool. And it's not even them. You've just done it yourself. An English accent. You are taking the piss. All right. You telling me, right? You telling me as I crucify the fact that you don't know what an English accent sounds like whilst simultaneously not speaking good English. You don't have a TV. You've never watched any British... British show. You've never heard an actual English accent. I mean... You don't even have to be, like, travelled. You don't. To know that that's not an English accent. Like... 22 was black. I have a question that too, you know. Sorry, so what did you say? I'm going to rewind it. Just so I can hear what she's just said. Because every time he wrote back about Ghana, he, he never spelled it right. All of those things are to confuse you. Yeah. Yes. We, we listened back to the, the video, the recording of his Watch voice. Watch the zoom into her face. That, was, that wasn't him. Whoever is talking in that video has your money. Yeah. And we just oh, went I've out there to too check far. out the investment and written his intake. Oh, maybe. It sounded like somebody from Ghana. Look, zoom in. No, I thought so from maybe England. I don't, I don't know. I know. Every, everything, it seemed like everybody I was sending money to was black. I have a question for that too, you know. What? So the fact that, that you're paying for this phone, you're turning this phone on for him to use and they're able to. I don't want to rewind it again, but what did she just say about sending money to black people? Am I hearing correctly? What is she on about there? Uh, let me know in the comments. The calls internationally to Ghana, it tells you these are the people he's talking to. These are the people he's conversing with. They're in Ghana. He's taking your money. Yeah, so you... He hasn't returned any of your money. He's just he's not so going to. stupid. Talks to you at night and in the morning because I believe the Ghana job. is seven hours. Seven hours Doesn't ahead of matter. us. Doesn't even matter. That's the he job. He has you doing all the dirty work for him. He has you buying him phones. He has you paying for the phones. He has you sending money to people you don't know or sending mm -hmm. money to him. And, you know, he hasn't... He hasn't provided you with anything. He's actually put you in a really tough situation. And so he's a con artist. He's used to hiding behind these fake profiles. He's what we call a coward. Are you ready Ooh. to hear who this man in these images is? I am. The real oh, wow. man in that image, his name is And his images have been stolen and used in hundreds. Yeah, hundreds of. I, I saw them all over with different names on them, yeah. So what? So uh, I'm sorry to say this is a romance scam. You and Garrett were not scammed. You were just scammed. All of these characters that they created in these stories. Just you saw Ghana on the phone numbers. You you saw his pictures on other sites with different names. What's wrong? Your your tax or tax attorney, whatever. You he told you that the the document was fake, and you just spat. In his face, basically. What's... Just... Uh, the the fantasy? You know, the, the point... You know... Do I know? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't. The fact that we've got to that position in life where, you know, you can say that you weren't looking for love or whatever, but the fact that you've put yourself in that position in, in the name of finding love... Get therapy, guys. Please, uh, please look after yourself. Please work internally on your own self so that you are content being alone. I understand after a while, sure, you want to meet someone, whatever. But at least then you will have enough uh, content within your own self to stand up for yourself in situations like this. And essentially, you know, don't set yourself on fire to keep that other person warm, right? 150k, bro.
including Garrett, they're all fake people. They were all created for you to send money. I think he just probably was afraid I was breaking up with him or something. You weren't- Are you breaking up with him? You weren't together. Yes. <laughs> you're not together. For sure. You're not together. You can't break up with someone you're not How with. How are you feeling? You see, it's little things like that, right? Where Bree says, are you breaking up with him? It, it kind of, you know, we're throwing fuel onto, onto the fire that is their delusion. You should have said, no, you're not breaking up with anyone. You're not with this person. So uh, I'm triggered that they didn't say that. I'm triggered also before that they didn't say maybe they cut it out. Uh, you know, who knows? W you know, but I'm triggered. That fact and the fact that they didn't say earlier, no, you need to listen to these professionals around you, not just us. But okay, it's kind of in a way, oh, you know, come to us, we'll do it, essentially. Please, Catfish team, I, I, you know, you are doing a good thing, but at the same time, you need to include in these videos for people who perhaps are in similar positions and they're not going to get your support. You need to make sure to include that hey, you need to also listen to these people around you, etc, etc. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. Relieved. Sorry, Lavelle. What are you most upset about? The money? <laughs> what I mean, yeah. bothers me is I took my reserve, you know, my, my re retirement that was in a reserve and an annuity and stuff like that. That's gone. And with the stock market being as well as doing now, I wouldn't be making money right now. Well, when is the last time you sent money? Well, actually, not too long ago. I sent him some money. I sent him a couple hundred dollars three or four weeks ago, actually. So you're still These doing gold it. bars, they do not exist. They're not, they're they're not sending, they don't exist, right? There's they're no not. Opinion. You're, right. you're done know. sending money, right? I'm done. Yes. How do you feel about where you're going to go next? I feel good. Because now I know, and I can head them off and go on with my life somehow, you know? I mean, well, obviously, wiser, hopefully, you know? Typically, in romance scams, we do suggest that you move forward with filing a police report with your local law enforcement. Nothing will happen. It's not to say that anything can be done for you right in the moment, but at least we have that report. And then you can move on and file a report with the FBI as well through their ic3.gov website. Okay. Although Laval didn't find her Mr. Oh, right this time, she did seem to take in the information the very well. She has promised to block Garrett and only date in person, and also never to send any more money to anyone That's she the has key never thing, met online. Right? We want to give a special thanks to this- Hello all, Editing H here. Now, if you've noticed that I'm gonna cut here, I've cut that membership part out, because if you look up here, right, uh, it's on the screen, I got demonetized because of the piano. Like, we can't be serious here, right? So I am editing this part out. So obviously I've uploaded it first and then it got copyrighted, which surprised me. And I was thinking, what the hell has happened here? It's the piano. So I'm sorry to all the Catfish members uh, you know, if your name is not in my video, but we keep it real on this channel. I, I don't earn a lot from this, from this channel at all. So, and, and I enjoy making content, but at the same time, I do want to make this a full-time thing. So I would like to earn the little that I earn, especially from the commentaries. They do make a little bit more than the regular other stuff. So, I'm sorry, I cut it out because I want it to be monetized. I don't know if that makes me a bad person, right? Uh, there are many times where videos are not monetized. The Alan episode, right? The guy whose wife died in the fire. The guy who was a criminal beforehand and then he, you know, changed his life around. If you remember that guy. Uh, the mail order bride episode, right? They're just ex some examples of videos that just don't earn money. So if anyone thinks that I do this just for the money, 
get a grip of yourself. You need to give your head a wobble. Because if I genuinely just did this for money, I would upload catfish reactions every single day. But yeah, just to be honest with you all, because that's what we do here. Uh, this transparency between me and you because I feel like you guys deserve it. You guys are the ones that put me in this position anyway. So yeah, if, usually I don't edit these reactions. Like I don't cut things out. But obviously I'm going to cut this part out because I'm not having this random piano demonetize my video. So just to be clarified, hopefully you guys understand. Uh, but you know, back to the outro. Peace. The main take point from that is look after yourself. If you are in a relationship that you're not happy with, please leave as soon as you can and as soon as possible, of course. If you're going to be online and dating, etc., just don't send money. Like, is it that hard? Right? That's all I ask for. You know what I mean? That's it. Because the main take point every single time is just that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Much love. Take care. And if you want to see more, as always, the playlist is up there. My Wink. Bye.